In today's video, I want to answer a simple but very interesting question I often get in the comment section of my YouTube videos about Blazor development. How do you share components between different Blazor applications? This solution contains a Blazor application created with the default Blazor project template in .NET 8. First, we create a new project and select Razor class library as the project type. Now, we need to implement the component. I prepared a code snippet to keep this part as short as possible. You'll find many videos about how to implement Blazor components on this channel. Next, we create a reference for the class library project from the application. I recently learned that in Visual Studio, we can just drag and drop a class library onto an application to add a project reference. Pretty cool, isn't it? We can now reference Blazor components from the shared class library in our application code. I add the following code snippet on the homepage of the application. We need to add the required using statement to make the namespace available within the application project. Instead of adding this using statement in every component or page, we can also move it into the imports razor file and make it available in all components in the application project. I also suggest implementing shared components render mode agnostic. What I mean is that you should set the render mode when you use the component and not when you define it. This way, you can use the shared components on all pages and with all interactivity modes. So that explains why I used the render mode attribute on the current date component when referencing it on the home page. Now let's start and test the application. We see the component rendered on the screen and when I click the button, the interaction is executed and the date format changes. I heard a few comments about that sharing components between applications using a Razor class library doesn't work when using Tailwind CSS. However, I tested it using Tailwind CSS and the project template I created in another video on this channel using the approach shown in this video and it worked perfectly fine for me. The important part is to correctly set up the CSS styling framework when using it in a Blazor application. For example, for Tailwind CSS, we have to reference the generated CSS file in the index.razor component. And we need to make sure that the just-in-time compiler scans all the files for changes including the Razor class library project. Obviously, there are different strategies on how to integrate CSS frameworks in our Blazor applications. But when we set it up correctly, it should also work when extracting components and sharing them within a Razor class library. Today, we learned how to create a Razor class library and to implement shared components that we can use in multiple Blazor web applications. Sharing components also works when using Tailwind CSS, Bootstrap, Bulma or any other CSS framework. If you found this video useful, please show it with a thumbs up and if you want to learn more about Blazor or .NET development in general, consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you in the next video.